you see these dogs in your front yard? <laughs> Just know upstairs I'm going hard. Bing bong. As you can see, YouTube, she is back together, baby. Nightmare is back together, man. Woo! It's been a lot of work, trust me. But now nah, it's back together though. So look at look at the look at the residue down here. We got a little bit of oil, a little bit of antifreeze mix. It look crazy down here, man. But yeah, as you can see, the car back together, man. Finally, you know, like I said, a little issue that you go through. It wasn't really no big deal, nothing like that. We took care of that like it was nothing. So let's get into today's video, man. Let's go. YouTube, what's good, but we back with another video. It's your boy 302 checking in for the one time. And today, as you can see from the thumbnail, today I'm gonna let you know everything done to my boss 302. I made, looks like I say, I made what? Nine something on the dyno with, with a, if I had a radio on, I would have made a thousand plus, I'm sure. Today I'll be giving you a breakdown of everything I've done to this car to make that type of horsepower. I know you want to make that type of horsepower, especially if you got a Boss 302. That's the trick to it though. If you got a Boss 302, I can definitely, this will definitely help you out to let you know exactly what needs to be done. But before we get started in this video, I would like to shout out Tsunami Clothing. As you can see, this is a t-shirt I got on right now. Please go check out Tsunami Clothing if you haven't checked it out, man. They killing stuff right now. They got their new summer shorts out, man. You gotta get the shorts. That's the number one. Even YSL crew, Freedom Guys, even YSL crew, they even checked out the whole, they had the shorts, they had everything. You could go. Go to the page right now you can see some of the members got it on but let's get started with this video baby all right so first things first where i want to start i got the hood popped of course because i'm gonna be showing y'all up under the hood but where should i start uh it's starting outside of the car it's cool as you can see i got um i got these four stars f14s on the car i got the skinnies on the front they 17 inch i think it's like about 17 by five or something like that yeah i got down the front we can check out the back. As you can see on the back, I hope that uh, dude cutting grass don't get in the video, but as you can see on the back, I got um, the 15 inch on the back. I think the tire size is a what? It's a 275, 60, 15 on the back, as you can see. On the um, Mickey Thompson ET Street um, Radio Pro, these are the ones with like the uh, slits in it. They don't have the, the exactly full like lines in them. They got like the little slits in them. It's like a drag slash street tire of course gotta do that um all right let's get to the back of the car i upgraded the um i upgraded to the 13 14 tail lights as you can see those are my favorite i didn't go with the euro style i know everybody loved the euro that just came out but i ain't really uh i ain't really like a guy for looks and then like that so these are just cool with me i don't need the euro style as you can see up under here i got um my diffusers cut I cut the diffuser, you know, for a little more aerodynamics, you know, like, kinds of, like, 
you know, air could come up out the back of the car. I got, I got cut it. You know, most turbo, if you see most turbo cars, they got this cut in the back too, like that. I think it's a really look cool look. It's like a race car look, you know, gives it a, a way more look. I actually want to give me a parachute too. I think a parachute would look ill back here. What y'all think about the parachute in the back? I think the parachute in the back would be crazy. All right, so let's see. But most boss, well, all boss here too are the same. But you know, some, you got some um, 11 through 14 Coyotes that come with 373 rear end. Well, like if you go on boost, I would recommend you swap those. I swapped mine down. I um, I went from 373 to 331 so I can, you know, have more gear. I like to have more gear in, less shifting, more gear in. You know, it's just, that's basically how I go. I would rather do way more shifting. I mean, I'd rather do way more gearing just riding instead of shifting. With 373s and boost combined, it's 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 kind of hard to get to your full potential boost because every time you really get into some boost, you gotta shift. So I went with um, 331s instead of um, 373s. I swapped those out. But yeah, you know, like, but if you NA, I would, if you NA, I would recommend 373s. But if you go on boost, I would recommend you switch to 331 so you can have a little bit more boost throughout your runs. Let's go. Let's go to the inside of the car and check it out. All right, so here's the inside of the car. You know, I remember y'all laugh, make jokes to me about my last video. My homeboy actually named Ricardo. I kind of, you know, made a mistake with that, but you know, it's funny. It's all jokes in the game. I got the Ricardo seats, as you can see up in here. But these come standard in the Boss 302. So if you got a Boss 302, you know, you come with these beautiful race seats. These are the seats that everybody wants. You know, I could actually put these online and sell them. As you can see, they in beautiful condition still, both of them. But yeah, let's get in the car. All right, cool, we get in the car. I don't really use these gauges no more, but we could uh, check them out. Got an oil pressure gauge, of course, you gotta have oil pressure. And I got my end gauge in here, you see the end gauge, baby? I'm telling you, if you ain't got an end gauge, man, I think you should get an end gauge, bro. Like, end gauge is the easiest way to tune a car. Like, I love tuning, I love tuning with the end gauge. It's so easy, you just press one button and you data log and you ain't gotta worry about it. You ain't gotta have no computer in here. You ain't gotta have none of that, it's simple like that. All right, so check it out. Drive train, let's see. Of course, it's the manual. All Buster 2 is the manual. Like, I don't know if y'all knew, but all of them are manual. That's just how that works. All right, let me see. As for here, I got a stock MT-82 in this car. Pray to the MT-82 guys. Pray to the MT-82 MT guys. Pray to the MT-82 guys. Yeah, no, you got a... It's a stock transmission in here for now, but I plan on upgrading in the, in the near future. I have a McLeod RST in here. I don't have a RXT. I have a RST. And I think that's rated for like what eight eight hundred torque or something like that. You know, it does it does good, man. Like it has like a high release to it, but it's good. Like this car, is, I, I got this car equipped with a wide box, so you know that helps me out with the quick shifting. You know, flame shift, flame shift, flame. I know they, I know I, I love them flames, bro. I know it ain't nothing like seeing a car on thirteen twenty, and every time it shifts, it's a big giant flame. I know. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing with the big flames that come out the back of it. Like, this car shoots crazy flames. Like, if I got a video of it shooting flames, I'll show y'all. I, I, I'll I put it in the video right here if I do. But yeah, I have a um, RST, McLeod RST in here. It does pretty good. Like, if you're looking for a recommended clutch for a street car, I think RST is perfect. I think you should go with that. I got, um, as you can see, I got a GFB G-Force boost controller like i know most people want to go with the more expensive boost controller like the um what is that one called um i forgot what it's called but yeah i know more, most people want to go with the more expensive one but this one does the trick i'm telling you like i know you want to spend the money get the expensive one to make you feel better i like spending money too on expensive car parts to give you like a peace of mind but now i'm telling you the gfb does good man you see you got the scramble right there hit the scramble just in case you you in a predicament where you need a little bit more boost. I got six presets on here, um, six different boost settings. Like, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, just, you know, like, you never know who you're running. Like, I like to run most of my, most of the people I run, I like to run on like a lower boost setting first, just to see where they car at, then I make my adjustments based off that run. You know, like, that's cool, that's why I wanted to go turbo, because, you know, you could make adjustments on the fly, just, Hit the hit the preset button one time and damn you got way more boost, baby. Like it's just how it go. Also, I'm tuned by Lund. Um, if anybody wanna know who I was tuned by, I'm tuned by Lund Racing. I'm tuned by Dakota at Lund Racing. That's my guy right there. He always 
make sure to call right if I have any questions or send him anything. He always get me right. He always let me know exactly what's going on. I got a 93 tune E85 R tune. I got a few E85 R tunes, but you know I got my final one. So I we back out. Um as far as suspension, I don't really have suspension like that. You know, Boss 302 come with kind of great suspension. That, you know, it's not like it's stock suspension, but as but for up under the car, I have on if you can see. All I really have is right there. <clears throat> as you can see, I got the BMR pan bar up under here. That's about it. I got the BMR pan bar. The car is lowered on. Um, I got the BMR racing springs on the car. Like you can see, like dang, I hope the plane ain't blocking. But as you can see, like it's lowered on. Um, BMR race. I got BMR lowering springs on the car. Of course, the car got Brembo's. All right, check it out. As you can see, you can see the rotors in here. I have the um, slotted rotors. They're not drilled. They just slotted. But I think they do a good job. So, you know, slotted rotors. I, I like the slotted rotors. And it's a clean finish, as you can see. I know the car dirty. I should have washed it first. But you get the picture. Like, you can see. You can see it sitting in the background back there. All right, so let's go to up under the hood. As you can see, I got three or two nightmares right here on my front windshield with a 35% tint on the windshield. Um, do me a favor and while you're watching this video, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Yeah, but I got um, my YouTube sign right here on the on the bottom of my windshield, 35% on the car. I ain't really want to go too crazy. I got my IG back on here, IG tag right here if you want to follow me on IG. This is my IG tag right here, three or two nightmares, of course. All right, so let's get to the main reason why I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all here. The main reason for the main reason for the 1,000 horsepower. Now, voila, here we go. The main reason y'all here for sure, for sure. Okay, now look, I have um, on uh, on the return turbo kit. I had it for about a year. Everything is good on it. I know y'all hear the horror stories and things like that, but. Man, look, the way this works, take take your car to somebody that knows exactly what they're doing and you ain't got to worry about all of that. That's all I'm going to say. Like I like I said, they're not sponsoring me for this video or nothing like that yet. But, you know, just take your car to somebody that know what they're doing and you ain't got to worry about too many of them issues. Okay, dang, my battery getting a little low, so I got to speed up a little bit. Okay, look, I got an on three twin 60 kit. These are twin 60s. They're not as big. Most people go with the twin 67s, but... I went with the twin 60s for a little quicker spool time, you know, just, you know, like, like I went, went in this with roll racing mind. I do way more roll racing than I do dig racing because, you know, you know, roll racing is more fun and break less things. Okay, I got on three, six, on three twin 60 kit. I have a four innovation fuel system. You can't make a lot of power without the fuel system. You gotta have a fuel system in the car. Four innovation fuel system, that's why I'm running E85 currently. I stay on E85 most of the time. I only switch to 93 if it's like an emergency. Uh, so I got the fuel system right here. Also, this car is equipped with ID 1300s. I have ID 1300 injectors on the car because you know, if you plan on making 900 to a thousand or anything up higher than that you need the fuel like fuel is really the main important thing of the engine so i got id 1300s right here on this car uh what else do i have on boss 302 manifold that comes with boss 302 so that that wasn't really it's a modification but it ain't really something that i brought it just it came with the car as you can see See, I got my, my lines. These are my lines right here. You see my lines running from the from the um, waste gates all the way up to the um, to the peg where the boost controller connects. It got waste gates on both sides right here, as you can see. Okay, like you know, it's it's a beautiful setup, man. I go to most car meets, man. They they love this car. When I say they love this car, like, cause you know you don't really expect to see. First of all, you don't even see Boss 302s around like that. Like, Boss 302s are a very rare Mustang that you barely see. It's a whole bunch of secrets. It comes with a road running engine. It's not, it's, well, like I said, they got it me in my last video. It is a 5.0 engine, but it has built internals and it comes with built internals. So if you didn't know that, now you know. That's why it's, like I said, that's why I said if you had a Boss 302, it's a lot easier. Because the internals, they come with forged internals, so you don't have to worry about that. Crank everything. You can really just throw your boost on there and just go. It's very simple. Like, I don't know what y'all know. Like I said, very simple, man. 
very simple. It's a beat, like I said, I got, you see my uh, inner cooler down in here. I hate them little two front holes in the front, but the dealership did that one, nothing I could do about that. But yeah, so that's really about it, man. It's not really much done to this car. Like I run the dump setup, as you can see earlier. I didn't, I don't have an exhaust coming out the back. My my um, exhaust literally comes from here, and it just drops down to like right up under the, um, right by the doors right here. Like it kind of sits like right there. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really tell. But it's just right there. It's, it's the exhaust is right, right up on the right up under the box of two sign basically. So sometimes the flames shoot out the side right here, or sometimes it just you can just see it from up under the car at night. You could definitely see it up under the car. But yeah, that's really about it for the for this car. It's not, it is not much. It's, well, with a Boss 302, it won't take as much. It can hold the boost. So if you if you in the in the market for a Mustang right now, I would say. And you're looking for 11 through 14 because you like the retro style look. I like the retro style look better. I don't have a problem with S550s. I actually might be looking for a GT350. But yeah, so that's about it. Not nothing uh, too crazy. You know, just got to have the feel. You got to have the, the boost, of course. And you got to have the balls. You got to have the balls. And ride around making the 900 horsepower. You got to have the balls also gotta have like what's the word I'm looking for you gotta have like cuz riding around in the car this fast you don't want to just like it's, it's kind of hard to, you gotta have self-control like to be they had to be behind that much power every day you gotta have self-control because not everybody could like not everybody could like keep their composure like keep their self-control with not stomping this car every day every time you get on the highway every time somebody pull up next to you because I, I usually be on street tires like I said I'm on my drag tires now but I'm usually on street tires and you know how it is when you're on the highway random cars would just randomly pull up next to you and down so you're trying to race you try to do this try to do that but you know you gotta have self-control man everybody don't, doesn't deserve to get the gap sometimes you gotta just ride next to them hopefully when they ride next to you they check the IG tag. That's why I got my IG tags big on both sides. So before you pull up next to me and just downshift and thinking it's just a regular Mustang, cause you know it's turbo so it's not as loud. So you know, some people they think the louder the car the faster, which I hate that, but it's not that. So they pull up next to me, they don't really hear nothing. They think, oh, that's the stock Mustang, I could take them. But nah, check the IG tag first before you just be, if a car has an IG tag on it, check the IG tag so you don't, Get your head blown off on the highway, not not knowing what's going on. Do a little research first. But yeah, man, just letting y'all know, you know, a little bit on how I made the power I made on this car. Like it's, it, it was very simple for me. But if you got 11 through 14 stock Coyote, you might want to build it, get you some forged internals and stuff like that. You know, get you get you a, a little safety net. So you could, um, you know, so you can make this type of power. I would recommend an on three twin turbo kit if you don't have, if, if you was thinking of getting one. I would say buy one. You know, it's, that's just me. You could, uh, you could do your own research, but oh snap, it's a big B. <laughs> you could do your own research, but you know, it's just like I said. This is this is my review on my car. It, it's like like so. Like I said, it's 302 gang, man. I'm just checking in. I did get the car fixed for people that watched the previous video. I did have a, a huge cooling leak up under the car, but you know, we're gonna take care of that. The car gotta run A1. So it's your boy 302 checking out, baby. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment letting me know if I missed anything or if you got any more questions or anything else you would like to know. Just leave a comment down below. You know, I, I respond pretty quick. So, you know, just, you know, it's your boy. We up out of here, so check out. Yeah. Hey, follow 302 Nightmare. Uh, fucking like, subscribe, and that's it. Comment too, bitch.